Back in the 1950s, when the Dominican Republic was a totalitarian dictatorship ruthlessly ruled by a dictator, a group of sisters were the ones to bring it to the ground and stand up both for their country and civil rights. Minerva, Maria Teresa, Patria, and Didi Mirabal were born and raised on a farm in the Dominican Republic full of cocoa trees and orchids. They quite enjoyed their childhood on the farm, mainly because they were unaware of the hard times the rest of the country was going through. The reasons for those hard times was Rafael Trujillo, who had control over the country for the past three decades and was known among the people as the boss. Everyone in the country was scared of him, thus no one ever spoke out against him, no matter how much they hated his ideologies. During his presidency, an estimated amount of 50,000 people were killed. Trujillo felt as if he was entitled to the citizens' taxes. He would often take that money and transfer it to his own and even sometimes his family and friends' bank accounts. The Mirabals had no clue of this until they left the farm they, they grew up in. They only started to hear the horrific stories told about him when they went to a Catholic boarding school. Minerva was only a young lady when she first came face to face with Trujillo at a party which they both attended. Trujillo took a liking towards Minerva, but she was quick to turn him down and leave the event. At the, at the time, people were not allowed to leave events before Trujillo, so he took offense in her, in her actions. It, I think it is safe to say that that was the first of many conflicts that was sparked between the two parties, Rafael Trujillo and the Mirabals. After the incident, Trujillo had Minerva and her parents thrown, thrown into jail. When they got released, Minerva enrolled into law school with the hopes of becoming the nation's first female lawyer. She did graduate, but unfortunately when Trujillo heard of this, he terminated her license making it not possible for her to practice law. Minerva was not late to join a group of revolutionaries, and shortly thereafter, Patria joined her sister. The youngest of the bunch, Maria Teresa, joined her sisters as well, who she admired greatly too. The rebel sisters started handing out brochures on overthrowing the gov government. To avoid Trujillo's secret agents, they held their meetings in their living room and used secret code names instead of real names. The sisters were famously named the Butterflies and gained reputations as fighters for civil rights. They tried their hardest not to get caught, but despite their best efforts, their covers were blown. The sisters eventually got released and were put into house arrest instead, and were only allowed to leave to go to to go to either the church or to visit their husbands, who were still in prison. Trujillo, suspecting a conspiracy against him, moved the husbands of Maria Teresa and Minerva to another prison. On the day of November 25, 1960, the sisters were vis visiting their husbands when they heard that apparently Trujillo had set them a trap. On their way back from the prison, Trujillo's secret police got a hold of them, brutally killed them and put their bodies into a car and pushed the car off a cliff to make it look like an accident. The news of the butterfly's death was not received well in the country. It angered so many people that a group of, group of angered people killed the boss six months, six months later. Nerva, Patria and Maria Teresa became national martyrs and symbols of activism and feminist resistance around the world. The fire of these sisters didn't only help free their country. It also showed the world the violence against women and the role women play in the fight for equal rights. The sisters went on to inspire women and women who came after them. To honor and symbolize their deaths, the United Nations deemed it appropriate for November 25th to be the International Day of Elimination of Violence Against Women. Now, over half a century after their deaths, their bodies lay under the cocoa trees and orchids they grew up with.